What's up guys, this is Alexander King and we're going to listen together to a brand new song by Avenged Sevenfold. It's called Nobody. Uh, I understand that it's also from an upcoming album, so they announced the whole shebang. Uh, I'm very curious because the it's been a while since it, since they released some new music. I will tell you more in the analysis section uh, my about my relationship, how I feel about Avenged Sevenfold as a band in general. It's a curious uh, relationship that I have with them. Uh, so stick around for that if you're curious to you know but without further ado guys Avenged Sevenfold nobody official video let's go six minutes I like long songs in general for those of you that are new to the channel <laughs> I love how they layer those scenes. Oh wow. Me tempo. Interest interesting choice for the boys. I'll tell you guys later. Chunky bass. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Definitely building up, but I'm expecting a release now. So confused, guys, but this is so interesting. I see also some connections between this and uh, the stage. Again, like the 16 on a big tempo.
our solo time. And still I went to the left, it's so weird. Okay, so <laughs> I think that they they're definitely following the path that they opened up with the stage. Um, I I really like this. I really enjoy this. Uh, I'm not sure if a lot of their fans will, uh, but that also ties in with what I was saying before the reaction. So. As I said, I have a, a little bit of a strange relationship with Avengers Sevenfold because a lot of people that got into metal, you know, uh, for example, in their uh, teenage years, they had, you know, a phase with Avengers Sevenfold and their earlier material. So when the music was a bit heavier, if you will, following a bit more into that uh, metal core and screaming, uh, scream core or whatever they used to call that. <laughs> um, so it was a gateway into heavy music for a lot of people. Uh, but for me, I, I never really cared that much about that phase uh, when it comes to this band. Like, I, I'd never honestly go back and listen to those records. It's not really for me, not necessarily the genre by itself. Like, there are some uh, albums and some songs that I enjoy in that specific style. Uh, it's just, I, I don't really feel the connection with Avenged Sevenfold uh, and the music that they did back then. But I do feel it with what they did in the more recent years, especially with the stage. I really love that album. I found it extremely fascinating. Uh, they took a very big risk. It was a concept album with what a lot of people called a pretentious uh, concept behind it. I don't agree. I think that, uh, that artists are free to do whatever they want, uh, as long as the message is genuine. Uh, that's always my standpoint. So I think that they truly cared about the message that was behind the stage. And you could see that in the video, the music video, which was beautiful. And again, I saw some uh, some connections between this and the stage. Because this felt at a certain times as a mix between jazz and metal. And I don't know, it, it, it's very hard to label it, which I guess it's also one of the reasons why I enjoy it. But also some very bold choices that they took. With this first of all production wise the vocals i said it right off the bat it was very strange they were kind of low in the mix uh, a bit behind they weren't overproduced or anything like that they were kind of subdued uh, but uh, it was very strange at the beginning but it grew into the song and it just made a lot of sense within the dynamics of the song so i really like that choice again it's not a choice that you would expect from a leading single from a popular band uh, and that's my next point. It's like, how did they pick this as the first single? Like, it's a fantastic opener. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the first song in the album, uh, in the tracklist, but it's a great opener. Like, it really sets a mood. Uh, I'm expecting the second single that they will release to be much more aggressive uh, as a follow up to this. Uh, also, you know, to cater to maybe some of the older fans as well. Uh, I might be wrong, again, because there, are, there were so many bold choices. Um, production wise I still want to touch upon two things guys first of all the guitar as I said during the reaction pan to the left at the beginning was completely like hard pan 100% to the left uh, very interesting for a lead role and then when it came to the guitar solo it was a little bit more also like there was something going on in the right channel but it was still uh, unbalanced towards the left which again it's very strange 
guitar solo usually when the guitar solo comes across in a song it's you know all the attention goes to it so you put it right in the middle unless you have something else going on but that's usually what happens they didn't go for that and the other thing that i really love was the sound of the synthesizers that they used uh, as i said like they were layering two uh, a deeper sound uh, that i think also had a guitar mixed in with it and then a much harsher and uh, higher register one so it really filled up the space and there was a lot of space in the song which again it's something that i usually tend to enjoy quite a lot uh, <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't know what to think. This was extremely interesting, extremely different from what I was expecting, uh, even as a continuation to the stage. Like, I was still expecting the first single to be maybe more along the line of the stage, uh, which again, you could argue it's not a commercial song because it's like eight minutes long, but uh, let's say that it has a more conventional structure, more or less, despite being that long, and it still appeals to some older fans of the band, I think, for the heavier. Uh, sound that it has this was I don't know I really don't know uh, the one thing that I can say though is that it got me extremely curious about the record so job well done I guess um, if you're a fan though like an early days fan of the band do let me know what you think about this because I'm very curious I know that for example it always happens uh, with Metallica for example the reaction that we with Metallica there was a big divide uh, between usually the older fans that say yeah, everything that they did after 1991 is basically terrible not to use another word um, and there were some more moderate opinions uh, saying that it was actually a good song which was also my opinion about that uh, specific song uh, if Tarkin said a song so let me know, I'm very curious I'm very curious what you guys think and if the fan base is so divided as well for a band like Avengers Sevenfold because they are Let's face it, like they are one of the big names in the metal music of this century. Uh, so, of course, maybe they're not as big as Metallica, but it's one of those names where in the metal scene, when they release something, everybody just turns their head and listens to what they have to offer. So, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> I've been blabbing quite a lot as usual. Um, I, I will leave, as always, the link for everything down there. There is a lot of stuff happening. There is a new song, uh, new music being released. Uh, by yours truly <laughs> so if you're curious to check that out and pre-save on spotify all of that is down there social media aka alexander king um, make sure to stick around and say hi in the comments uh, th again there is a lot of content a lot of different content as well uh, coming your way so i think we're gonna have fun uh, anyway guys thanks again for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next one bye